Okay, so far we have reached here. We have created the donut with icing. It looks pretty good. Now we're gonna make it uh, better, okay, in this part of the tutorial. Okay, let's uh, first of all, I think I need to change the lighting. I'm gonna grab the lamp here and press G and bring it a little bit here, okay. The angle of the, I mean, I mean the shadow is too long, I guess, so yeah. That would be better. And, uh, I don't know what's happening, yeah. So we have achieved this result so far. Now, let's do some shading, okay. First of all, I'm gonna hide this ice part, icing part, and this plain, plain area. The surface, okay. Click on this surface, plain, whatever you call it. Press H to hide. Click on the icing, press H to hide. Now, click on the donut. Don't forget to click on donut, okay, for what we're going to do now. Click on the donut. Now, if you go to this material properties, you can see these properties here. So we're gonna play with these properties, but in a different way, using a uh, node, node editor. So for that, we're gonna choose shading, okay? Click on shading and this is gonna change the workspace, okay? Let's zoom in, shift and uh, scroll wheel to to like this. Okay, so um, what's happening here? Okay. Okay, now. We have this donut here, and uh, it's a plain donut, but it looks very, very plain. So, first, what we can do is to make uh, the space a little bigger. Just go to this corner of this small window, whatever you say. When you do this, uh, when you, you know, hover on the corner of this thing it shows a kind of plus sign kind of plus sign click here and drag like this and release it please your mouse and also here you can do the same click and drag and then release now we have more space to work on and now you can zoom and it's the same here if you Click on the um, uh, scroll wheel. You can just drag like this and bring the nodes like this. And um, yeah, so what we're gonna do is, I uh, hope you have already clicked on this donut. So once you do that, it's gonna show you the material properties. It's the same thing, same as this one here on the right side, but it's showing with the in the form of nodes okay so we're gonna change this thing here we're gonna add some nodes to do that go to add and first of all we're going to uh, texture and choose noise texture we're gonna click like this now it's in the node editor but it's not connected yet so we have factor and color now we're going to click on the factor and drag and connect it on base color of the material properties. Once you do that, just release your mouse. Just wait for a second. Now you can see that it's creating kind of noise on the donut. Okay. But it's in black and white. We don't want that. So we have to add another node to make it colorful okay 
go to add again and um, converter and choose color ramp and when you uh, when two nodes are connected if you put another node just in between them and just click it's going to automatically connect it sometimes it doesn't connect to the right uh, point point or whatever you say sometimes you might have to adjust it uh, manually right now it's okay factor to factor and color to color so now it has this color ramp has black and white color you have these two things two little handles if you drag like this you have you know contrast coming up so we're not going to do much with the contrast you can do like a little bit you can just pull this a little bit here to uh, create a little bit of contrast otherwise you can just keep it as it is so if you click on this um thing uh switch or handle whatever you can see that this is black color so this one is the color if you click on this black color you have this thing to select color it's now right now black because it's set to the darkest one dark darkest part so you just you know drag it and drag it upwards it will bring the color now you choose a darker color for the donut just a little bit here and uh, okay you're done click here and now the white part here click on this thing here and you can see that's white color click on the color and choose a color which should look like the color of donut okay okay looks good but if you increase the contrast a little bit you can achieve the result you like okay. just click here and a little bit okay, okay. or you can just uh, select the color a different color to make it the make the darker parts a little uh, distinct or clear okay okay that's what we want um, again we should um, add something uh, I'm going to show you if you see here uh, let's say it's not mm, here uh, or okay that's okay just uh okay for a while i'm gonna increase this contrast and i'm gonna show you if we if, if we play with the scale here as you can see that uh it's not bad but the thing here is uh it's stretching you know the top part here are not bad but when you come to this part you know the pattern is kind of stretching from left to right so it's not in a proper scale so we're gonna change this okay first let's come to uh, first okay let's keep it like this all right we're gonna add something here okay add and then uh, converter is it converter or input okay sorry it's input and we're gonna put um it's that uh, texture coordinate and put it here and we're gonna connect the object to vector vector of noise texture okay right now we don't see anything it's because of the scale here okay now if you increase the scale 
you're going to see the effect. Okay. Okay, now you, if you see the contrast here, it's not stretched. Like, uh, even you uh, increase the scale, it's not stretching from left to right or top to bottom. It's just going uh, in the same proportion. Okay, that's what we need. So now we can decrease the contrast here. Okay, we need we don't need the contrast. We were just trying to see it clearly. So now we know that it's working. So now we can just uh, play with the scale. Okay. Don't need much, just uh, 60 something. 60 is okay, or oh, 50 something. Okay, we're good here. Now, uh, what we are going to add is a kind of bump, you know, a bumpy looking texture on this donut to make it look more realistic. Okay. And um, to do that, we're going to go to add a vector and bump. Click. And now we're going to go to this normal and drag it to the normal. This normal is on principled BSDF, that's uh, material. And from this bump, we're going to connect to uh, noise textures. So factor from noise texture goes to height of bump wait for a few seconds it's going to show the result okay this is the result but this is not what we want it's showing uh, like kind of too rough thing you know it's very rough because we haven't adjusted this thing here the detail here okay the detail here is too much here. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not here, but on the bump. It's not the detail, I mean to say distance. On bump, the distance, one is almost like one meter, so it's not a good distance. So we're going to convert it to 0 0.003 here, something like that. Enter. Okay. That's what we want, and uh, we're gonna go back to details. Now we can play with the detail to make it look, you know, more bumpy. If you decrease the detail, you're not gonna see anything. If it's too smooth, but if you go like this, around, okay, around four or five, Okay, that's what we are looking for. If you zoom in, you can see, you know, you can see that this is kind of bumpy. It's kind of effect. It's not actually bumpy. You can, as you can see from this silhouette, but it makes the donut look like bumpy okay so this is how it looks now if you go to layout and then <clears throat> sorry about that and now if you go to this uh, render preview and let's press alt h this would show all the hidden objects. So if we again uh, press or click on the icing and press H, it will hide the icing. Now we can see the texture of the donut here, okay? This is what we were looking for. Now we have achieved this texture here, okay? This is the texture we want. Uh, 
I think we can. Um, I should change the base color of this surface table or whatever color. Yeah, that would be better. Okay, so this is what we have achieved from this tutorial. Okay, so yeah, that's all for this uh, this part of the tutorial. I'll see you in the next part of the tutorial. See ya.